Probably the major problem of the mango industry is the anterknose disease. When we are shipping a container of mango to Europe, uh, everything, growing the mango, picking the mango, sending the mango, costs a lot of money. And many times, due to the anterknosis disease, the container will reach Europe uh, with rotten fruits. And uh, by getting those resistant uh, varieties, uh, it's going to be a win-win situation for everybody. So uh, we're here at the Isabella Research Farm of the Tropical Agriculture Research Station in Maya West, Puerto Rico. And uh, we're, this is the uh, mango backup collection. Uh, we, we serve as a backup site for the primary mango collection, which is uh, Miami. We are currently working with this backup collection, trying to uh, find uh, disease uh, resistance, mainly to anthragnose. Anthragnose is a disease uh, caused by Calitotricum, and it affects uh, leaves, uh, flowers, and uh, fruits. And that's what the grower is more interested. They want to find resistant varieties that, uh, to, to this disease and that will permit them not to not having to spray fungicides so often uh, in their fields. Actually the largest uh, mango producer in the U.S. Uh, is located in the south coast of Puerto Rico. It's Martex, uh, Martex Farms. They have about 4,000 acres of mango. It's an outstanding relation uh, particularly with Martex Farms. We have been collaborating for decades they allow us to uh, use their farm to carry out uh, our research. Currently, our plant pathologist is working closely with them, trying to find materials that, that may be tolerant uh, to anthragnose. Uh, we have a postdoc, uh, Dr. Maris Lopez. She is uh, doing some entomology work, working in the best uh, management practices for the insects that attack uh, mango. And uh, yeah, collaboration with, with, with industry has been excellent over the years. Dr. Guanaga and his team is uh, ARS are very cooperative uh, and, and, and the great thing about it is that uh, they just want to help us and help us in the problems that we are facing in the field and in, in shipping mango. I, I have an open line to all the researchers there and they are doing their best to help us and they are coming to the farm and go with me in the field and we are doing all kinds of experiments and that they use their facilities in order to give us answers for the directions where we have to continue with our research.